If you ever need to uninstall a recent Windows update because it's causing problems with your computer, it's pretty easy to do so. If you're already within Windows, click on the Start button, go to Settings, and in the left column, go to Windows Update. To the right, click on Update History, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, and click Uninstall Updates. Another window will open, and you'll see a list of installed updates. The monthly quality update is usually the most recent security update for Microsoft Windows, and you can verify the date that it was installed on. Right-click on it, and click Uninstall. It'll ask you if you're sure that you want to uninstall the update. Click Yes. Windows will work on uninstalling the update, which may take a few minutes. Once it's finished, make sure that you've saved any open files and click Restart Now. Your computer will restart and continue through the rest of the process of uninstalling the update, which may take several more minutes. Once it's finished, it'll load back into Windows. Now, if your computer is having problems booting into Windows after installing an update, it should eventually bring you to this Advanced Startup menu. And you can also get here using Windows 11 Recovery Media, or by tapping the Alt and F10 keys on your keyboard together several times, immediately after powering your computer on. From here, click Troubleshoot, and then Advanced Options. And finally, Uninstall Updates. Here you have two options. If you're having issues after installing the annual Windows 11 feature update, you can use the second option. If you're having problems after installing the latest monthly quality update, click the first option, which is what I'm going to do. On the next screen, click Uninstall Quality Update. It may take several minutes to uninstall. Once it's finished, it'll tell you that the uninstall is complete. Click Done and then click Continue. Your computer will now load into Windows, minus the latest quality update. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site, and don't forget to subscribe.